Proverbs 29 and verse 18. Where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. Let's read that together since it's only one verse, so it drops into our spirit. Where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on us this day. We know that you are determined to do a work in our lives this year, my God. Lord, we know that you were determined last year, and we know that until Christ comes, you will continue to work in us so that we would conform to the image of your Son. Lord, we thank you for your Spirit who dwells within us, who speaks, Lord, even now to us through your Word and through your people. Lord, we give you glory, honor, and praise. As we are stepping into this new year, I thank you for every soul that is here hearing what you have for them today, my God. I pray that this would not just be a word that they hear, but a word that they receive, my Lord. I pray it would go deep, deep, deep into the, to the very bottom pits of their heart, my God, that where it can catch good soil. I pray that no one will leave here receiving, without receiving from you what you have for them. Do the work you're determined to do, my God. Let nothing stand in your way. Even in all of my weakness, even in all of my arrogance, my God, let nothing get in the way of what you are meant to do for your people today. In my weakness, let your strength be perfected. Anoint our ears to hear your word, my God. Give us a heart where we can apply it and a will through which we would do it, my God. We thank you, praise and exalt you this day in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated. If you are visiting us today, if you are visiting us today, Ibadat kar rahe hain, aap sab ko khush aamdeed. If you're, if you're visiting us for the first time, would you just raise your hand? We're not going to make you stand up or, yeah. Could you stand if you don't mind? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Welcome. God bless you. Would you stand? Let's welcome them. Give them a trinity welcome. God bless you. Happy New Year's to you. Aur aap sab ko bhi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sister Sabrina is no new face. I've got the same old face too, sister, but... Um, Welcome. It was so good to have you and all of your friends here. And aap sab ko naya saal? Aap sab ko naya saal mubarak? Thank you. Thank you. Let's get into God's Word. Every year, weeks before the year end, months before the year end, the leadership of the church, my wife and I, we begin to come before the Lord and we begin to ask God what would you want us to do this new year? Har saal ke aakhir mein, kuch hafte, kuch mahine tak bhi, jab tak khudawan ka roo hume nahi batata ke what's the next theme, what's the next plan, we try to sit before God in prayer. Now, who remembers what God gave us last year? What was our word or our theme? Push. Pray until something happened it was push and boy did god have us pushing in every possible area we could but we thank god that he also brought forth a lot of fruit last year can we give god a praise for all he did last year and you might be waiting for god to answer your prayer that you have been prayer here's the thing god might be delayed but it's coming amen this year god has given us a different word a different uh a theme, as uh, you can say, and the theme this year, if you can bring it up on the screen, is clear vision. Clear vision. What is it? Clear vision. Clear vision. And um, if you wear glasses, like myself, if you wear glasses, 2020 represents that you have perfect vision, right? 2020 means it is the measure by which your eyes are evaluated. I don't know what they're called. A Kana doctor, right? Whatever. What they want to do is bring your eyesight to a 2020. And so they might need to adjust some things. They might need to give you contacts. They might need to give you glasses. They might need to tweak some things so that your eyes would be 2020 because the point is for you to have a clear vision. So it's going to be very easy to remember 2020, clear 
vision. 2020, clear vision. And if you forget, we have these printed for you in the back. And just like last year, you can put this right on your refrigerator. You can put this on your dresser. You can put this in your Bible. You can put it somewhere where every time you go to that place, you are reminded that God is calling us to have... God is calling us to have a clear vision. God wants us to have a clear vision of our life. vision Amen. Why? Because many a times our vision is very blurred. We don't really have a clear vision of our life. God wants us to have a clear vision of our future. God wants us to have a clear vision for our family, for our direction we are taking. God wants us to have a clear vision of our calling. Our studies, our developments, God wants us to have a clear vision for our career, careers. Because where there is no vision, people, people, Perry, we don't like, we don't want to say that word because we're like, uh, it might be talking to us, but that's good. Amen. Amen. God wants us to have a clear vision because where there is no vision, people, Come on, we, we, we could quote scripture in church. Hum church mein hai, hum Bible ki aitin bol sakte hai, yahan koi baat nahi fikar ki. Where there's no vision, people, where there's no vision, people, perish. And before I move into the message, God has, let's first define the word vision biblically. Isse pehle ke hum khudaun ke kalam ki taraf bade, is lafz ko, vision, ko hum biblically define kare. When the word, ugh, this is going to be a good play, because, you know, we desis, we mess our B's and W's up a lot. <coughs> so, bear with me as we go through this. When the word vision is used in the Bible, it is referring to the Word of God. Okay? For the next 20 minutes or so, if you could just put your phone down, if you could put it on silent, if you even got the guts and you can just put it, turn it off, I, I tell you, God wants to speak to you today. Amen. This has been boiling in my spirit for months. And if you leave in the beginning of the year without getting what God has for you, your vision might not be so clear. Amen. Every time the word vision came, comes up, especially in the New Testament, it is referring to the word of God. The word of God. Khudaman ka kalam. Kaye khudaman ka kalam. Every time vision, the word vision was used, it was referring to the word of God. Vision was a channel in which God would speak to his prophets. And when he would speak to them through the vision, they would then go forth and give it to the people. So God would channel... His word through a vision. Ek roya ke tehet, wo apne bande se ya bandi se bolta tha, and then that would go to the people of God. And so in other words, the vision that the prophet would have would be the word of God. Amen. Amen. Let's put that into scriptural context. Mere saath ko liye pehla Samuel tisra baap pehli aayi. 1 Samuel chapter 3 and verse 1. Now the boy Samuel was ministering to the Lord before Eli. And word from the Lord was rare in those days. Visions were infrequent. Samuel Because God would speak through vision. Say, God would speak through vision. God would speak. Through vision. Lamentations 2.9. Lamentations 2.9. Also, her prophets find no vision from the Lord. In the Old Testament, God spoke audibly to His people. He would give His word to the prophets through visions. 
और गॉड वुड स्पीक के आंखें खुली हैं और वो एक रोया देख रहे हैं बट बिहाइंड इट वॉज गॉड स्पीकिंग गॉड हैविंग ए कम्युनिकेशन विद हिज पीपल ए मैन दिस वॉज ए मीन्स फॉर पीपल टू रिसीव द वर्ड ऑफ गॉड ये एक वसीला था कि जब उनको रोया आती थी उनको विजन आती थी गॉड वॉज स्पीकिंग टू दम Amen. I'm just building the background, the context, so we can get into God's word today. In the verses we have just read, the Bible is indicating that people were not receiving any word from God. Khudaman ki taraf se hamoshi thi, aur ye ek vaja thi ki unke paas koi roya nahi thi. I think I already hit it. Because Khudaman hamosh tha, logon ke paas koi roya nahi thi because god was silent the people had no vision people had no vision because god was silent and so before we move forward is god silent in your life we can define that by saying is there a vision in my life because if there's no vision the people will perish as you continue into the new testament and at the coming of jesus jab hum naye ye purane ahdnama ki baat ho rahi thi ab jab hum naye ahdnama mein naye ahdnama mein aate hain aur khudaavan yesu masih aaye aur phir jab wo aasman par chadh gaye aur unhone apna ruh quddus bheja in the book of acts chapter 2 and 17 it reads and it shall be in the last days God says that I will pour forth my spirit on all mankind and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy and your young men shall see visions hallelujah amen purane ahdama mein khudaavand hamosh the purane ahdama mein khudaavand apne logon se jab hi wo bolna band kar dete the roya band ho jati thi But in the New Testament, Khudaamil Hud keh rahe hain that I'm going to pour my spirit out, or jo ladke hain, jo naujwan hain, wo roya dekhe karenge. In other words, what God is saying is, here, when I'm going to pour out my spirit, jab main apna rule kudas tumare upar undeel dunga, you will have visions, and through that you will know that I'm talking to you. Amen. जब आपकी जिंदगी में विजन आ जाएगी जब आपकी जिंदगी में रोया आ जाएगी इट इज टू से आपकी जिंदगी में खुदावन का कलाम तासीर पकड़ रहा है एंड व्हेन द वर्ड ऑफ गॉड इज एक्टिवेटिंग एक्टिवेटिंग विद इन योर लाइफ दैट मींस गॉड इज कम्युनिकेटिंग ए मैन ए मैन एंड सो वी रीड दैट फॉल सो विजन Paulus Rasul ne roya dekhi aur yahan tak Paulus Rasul was he, this is what Paul said I don't want to be disobedient to the heavenly visions ke jo aasmani roya maine dekhi hain main unke khilaf nahi jana chahta I don't want to be disobedient towards that hence he received direction from the Lord in which he could advance the ministry amen now this is what I'm trying to tell you that similarly similarly god gives us a vision he gives us a direction for our life amen he gives us a direction kyun kyunki hum uske bete aur betiyan hain we're his children why would he not give us direction we believe that john the the beloved disciple of jesus received a vision jab hum मुकाशफा की किताब पढ़ते हैं द बाइबल चार्ल्स एस दैट जॉन रिसीव अ विजन एक रोया उसने देखी एंड सो ही रिसीव द वर्ड ऑफ गॉड इन अदर वर्ड्स वेन गॉड सेंट जीजस क्राइस इज सन एंड ही वेन अप ऑन द क्रॉस ऑफ कैलवरी एंड डाइड ही इज सेंडेड ऑन टू हैवन नाउ दैट वी आर बोर्न अगेन हिज स्पिरिट डॉल्स इन अस we are able to receive the direction from the lord convictions from the lord the word from the lord that convictions from the lord that direction from the lord is our vision amen 
That becomes our purpose, our hope, and our goal. Amen? And so if someone comes up to you and tells you he received a vision from the Lord, but it is not backed up with this, that ain't from the Lord. Amen? Because Roya Dene ka maksadi ek tha ke wo apna kalam de raha tha. He was giving his word. That's what visions meant. Jab nabi Roya dekte the, to wo khudawan ka kalam pa rahe the. Jab Yohanna ne Roya deki, mukashwa ke liye, to wo khudawan ka kalam pa raha tha. Jab Palus ne Roya deki, direction And if the vision is just something that's just out of the blue, has nothing that can be backed up through the word of God, you got to be very cautious with that vision. Amen. Amen. We can have a clear vision from, for our life, for the future, through the word of God. Amen. Hum, Oh, come on, I'm going to need you to stay with me. Hamari zindagi ki vision jo hai, hume bilkul clear vision mil sakti hai, kyunke wo vision is karab mein paai jati hai. We can have a clear vision for our family. Hum apne handan ke liye ek clear vision khudawan se hasil kar sakte hai, kyunke wo is kitab mein paai jati hai. We can have a clear vision for our calling. Hamare bulawe ke liye, hume ek clear vision khudawan ki taraf se mil sakti hai because it's found in this book. We can have a clear vision for our career through this book. Because without vision, without direction, God's people perish. Amen. Homes break. Handan toot jate hain. Jab handano mein roya nahi hoti. Children wander. We let curses enter our lives. We let the world and our perceptions determine our destinies. Having a clear vision means having this book in our hearts. Amen. That's what having a vision means. Roya hone ka yehi matlab hai. Even if, as you read through that translation, the Bible says, where there's no, if you read it in the NIV or the NASV, it says, where there's no revelation, jahan par mukashwa nahi, jahan par kalam nahi, log parish hote. It comes down to that. If there is no word of God in our life, अगर हमारी जिंदगी में ये नहीं है खुदावंत का कलाम हमारी जिंदगी में कोई रोया नहीं है देयर इज नो विजन फ्रॉम गॉड हमारी जिंदगी में गोल्स हो सकते हैं हमने ये लेना है हमने वो लेना है और आई हैव सीन मेनी फैमिलीज मियां बीवी ने अपना एक गोल तो अचीव कर लिया घर ले लिया गाड़ी ले ली दे मेट द गोल्स बट फिर भी घर टूट गए व्हाई बिकॉज़ द विजन वाज नॉट विद इन देयर हार्ट They had their goals down, but they didn't have the vision from the Lord. And when there's no vision, the people perish. The people perish. God said to Joshua as he stood at the entry gate of his destiny, Khudawan ne Yeshua ko us waqt, jab wo us bilkul gate par pahunch gaya tha, God said, Joshua chapter 1 and verse 8, This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. But you shall meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do according to all that is written in it. So then you will make your way prosper, and you will have success. That's what God said to Joshua. You want to be successful? Put this book in your heart. You want to know which direction God is taking you to? Put this book in your heart. I have met people over and over. They have attained so many things. Unki zindagi mein bahut cheeze hain, wo hasil kar chuke hain. Lekin phir bhi dil mein bechaini hai. Phir bhi unki zindagi mein koi fulfillment nahi hai. Phir bhi wo unko aise hi lag raha hai ki kisi na paye ke upar wo chal rahe hain. They're just living a life of repeti- repetition. Why? Because they have attained the goals. 
They have done what they felt they can do and be happy and satisfied. But because the vision of God was not within their heart, they are still distressed. Because until and unless the vision of God comes in us, we are headed towards being perished. We'll live distressed. We'll live confused. Is there a vision, a word of God in our marriage? Kya hum sachai se? This is the first day of the year. And we got to be very honest with ourselves. Kya hum sache dil se keh sakte hain? Ke hamare azwaj mein, within our marriage, there is a vision from God. There is a word from God. There is a direction from God. Hamare, hamare azwaj ke liye khudaman ne ek maksad rakha hai. Ham is maksad se waqif hain. Is kalam se ham ne us maksad ko dhoon liya hai. I have found and searched the purpose that is for my marriage. And I am pushing towards that. Kya hum keh sakte hain ke hamare ghar mein, within my family, I have discovered the vision. I have discovered the will of God. I have discovered what God wants from my household through this book. I have discovered his heart. Is there a vision for our family? Is there a vision for our household? Is there a vision for our life? Ki maine apne zindagi ke liye khudaavant ki wo roya hasil kar li hai. Wo kalam hasil kar liya hai. Wo mukashfa dhoond liya hai. I have searched and I have found what God wants out of my life. Your life is not just about paying bills, making babies, and moving on, God has a purpose for our life. Say amen. But maybe 10 and 15 and 30 and 40 years, I was, when I was preparing for this, I said, God, you wanted us to pray a lot last year. Pray, push. And I said, God, you want us to get into your word this year. Amen. And if we can keep doing those two things until Jesus comes, it's okay. Amen. If we do these two things to Jesus, we don't give our hearts to our hearts. And we don't give our hearts to our hearts. That's good enough. Say amen. amen. That's good enough. Amen. That's good enough. We don't need anything else. God wants us to discover what the vision is for our lives. Hamari zindagiyon ki roya kya hai? It is the word of God through which we will define it. Amen. Many have misdefined vision as goal. Bohot hain jinho ne, they said ki vision ka jo dusra love is now, that, that is a goal. It's not. See, goals you can attain. Vision evolves. Oh, amen. Goals you can attain. Hamara das saal ka goal hai, hamne gaadi leni hai, hamne bangla lena hai, aur das saal mein wo ho jata hai. But that's not your vision. You can get a goal to get a house, a car, a fancy watch, some nice wardrobe. But that's not your vision. It's because the vision, the word of God, is missing. Amen. The Bible says where there's no vision, people perish. I want to go to another translation. The Bible says, uh, in the NASB says, where there's no vision, the people are without restraint. Agar hamari zindagi mein khudawan ka kalam nahi hai, khudawan ki taraf se ek direction nahi hai, khudawan ki taraf se ek purpose nahi hai, to dusre lafzo mein, we are people who are out of control. Amen. Ye hame boundaries me rakta hai ji. Amen. Ye hame boundaries me rakta hai. Without the vision, word of God within the family, there are no restraints. Handano me restraints nahi hai. Extramarital relationship, cheating, lying, deception, all of these things will be within our homes when there is no vision within 
our home. Jab jab hum is cheez ko apne azwaj se, apne handan se, apne ghar se, apni olad se, apni daily routine se, apne se dur karte jayenge, hum wo darwaze kholte jayenge jahan par koi boundary nahi. Phir ek shaitan aur dusra shaitan bad kar hamari zindgiyo mein aata rahega. Because where there is no vision, no word of God to put a boundary and a hedge around us, there's no restraint. I often think, how is it that someone can be married for 10 and 15 years and then go off and, and, and fall into the arms of another man or another woman? It's because there's no restraint. How is it that children can put hands on their parents? I have seen this. I have entered and broken this up. Stop guessing. Why? Because there's no restraint. How is it that one person can have multiple physical partners? Because there's no restraint. How is it that those things can happen? Where there's no vision, there's no restraint. But we are the people of God. Say Amen. We are the people of God. And boundaries It's not our vision. It's God's vision. It doesn't say where people don't have their vision. It says no, when they don't have vision from God when they don't have the word of God in their life jab unke handanon mein jab unke azwaj aur gharon mein ye cheeze nahi hain there will be no restraint and so for the closing portion of the time that we're together today i i hope this is coming into someone's heart that that we need a vision as a family God, we need your word as a center of our home. I don't want my house to perish. I don't want my marriage to perish. I don't want my children to perish. I don't want my career to... I don't want, and I don't want to get all my goals done, all of my checklists done, attained, 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 and at the end of it, die blind. And so I want to spend the closing portion of it looking at a passage from the New Testament through which maybe we can draw some principles. Go with me to Acts chapter 16. Rasulon ke imal solwan baap. Rasulon ke imal solwan baap. A vision, say vision. A vision appeared to Paul. A direction came to Paul. A word of God came to Paul. In the night, a man of Macedonia was standing and appealing to him, saying, Come over to Macedonia and help us. When he had seen the vision, immediately we sought to go into Macedonia, concluding that God had called us to preach the gospel to them. God gave a vision to Paul. Khudawan ne ek roya di. Khudawan ne ek direction di. कि अब बेटे तूने ये करना है अब अगला हिस्सा तेरी जिंदगी का ये है दिस इज द नेक्स्ट प्लान फॉर योर लाइफ दिस इज द नेक्स्ट स्टेप्स फॉर योर लाइफ तेरे अगले कदम ये हैं और खुदावन का कलाम कहता है दैट द स्टेप्स ऑफ द राइचस आर ऑर्डर्ड बाय द लॉर्ड अमेन कि जो कदम हैं रास्तबाज के उनका ऑर्डर पीछे से आता है उनका ऑर्डर खुदावन की रोया के तहत आता है द ऑर्डर कम्स फ्रॉम अब एंड आई टेल यू दिस जो रास्तबाज हैं उनका स्टॉप जो है ना वो भी खुदावन की तरफ से आता है एमन ही डोंट जस्ट टेल अस व्हेन टू गो ही आल्सो टेल अस व्हेन टू स्टॉप हालेलुया एंड सो पॉल गेट्स द डायरेक्शन फॉर हिज लाइफ ही गेट्स द डायरेक्शन फॉर हिज लाइफ खुदाउन मेरी मिनिस्ट्री का अगला फेज कहां पे हो किस शहर में जाऊं एंड द बाइबल इफ यू रीड दैट पैसेज ही वाज सर्चिंग फॉर दिस उसने बहुत लम्हा बिताया 
سوتا خداون کیا تو میں چاہتا میں ایشیا میں جاؤں کیا تو چاہتا میں اس علاقے میں جاؤں اینڈ فائنلی ہی گاٹ اے ویژن فرام دا لارڈ ہی گاٹ دا ورڈ فرام دا لارڈ اینڈ آف ہی گوز دا فرسٹ تھنگ وین وی تھنک آف وین گاڈ گیوز اس ڈائریکشن اینڈ ویژن از ہی اینڈ ہز کمپینین امیڈیٹلی سیٹ ٹوڈز اٹ دس از دا فرسٹ آبزرویشن دا فرسٹ چیلنج وی فیس وین اٹ کمس ٹو دا ویژن دیٹ گاڈ پوٹس ان آر ہارٹ is we delay responding to it. Hum der kar dete hain. Hum der kar dete hain. Aksar der kar deta hu. Aksar Khudaamad ek cheez dil mein dalta hai beta ye kaam karna hai tune aur hum der kar dete hain. We say, let's take care of these things and take care of that thing, and then we'll get to taking care of what direction God is giving to me. Now, that direction could be very different for each one of us. Many of us might have received a vision at a young age. Kuch hain jinko bahut choti umr mein shayad khudawin ne kuch kaam kiya ho, unke zindgi ka maqsad ya unki zindgi ki direction di ho. For some, it could have been to go and start a ministry. کسی کو شاید خدمت کے لیے ڈائریکشن دی ہو کسی کو شاید اپنا بزنس شروع کرنے کی ڈائریکشن خداون نے دی ہو کسی کو شاید اپنے لیے ایک ایجوکیشن میں بڑھنے کے لیے ویژن دی ہو کسی کو شاید ٹو گیٹ میریڈ اسٹارٹ اے گادلی فیملی گیٹ اینڈ آل وی کیپ ڈوئنگ از پوٹنگ دوز تھنگز آن ڈیلے مینی ریسیو اے ڈائریکشن این انکلنیشن اف وٹ گاڈ وانٹس For them to do as a family, as an individual. And it has been years since you considered it. But we have allowed distractions to delay our response to the vision. For some, that vision could have been to go to school, to start a business, to get a new training. For some, it could have been to serve in the church, to help the poor, to educate the less fortunate, or even consider getting married to a godly spouse to start working in the kingdom of God. But we delay responding to the vision, to the word of God, to the conviction God has given us. But when we consider the life of Paul, جیسے ہی اس کو رویا آئی وہ اگلے دن اٹھ کر اس کی طرف Tell the it's like no delay because there's nothing better the devil wants to do than to delay that work in your life. Subse zyada jo shaitan ka pressure hai na, wo hai ki ye shuru vich ye na no roh da na to chang hai. Hain ji shadi to pehle hi kudi da zain kharab ho jaye na te chang hai. Shadi to pehle hi munda vigad jaye na te chang hai. E na no pehle hi kharab kar do. Shuru stage te ye na no kharab kar do. That's the vision. destroyer that's the one who comes to destroy it yaad rakhe ke jab yesu paida hi hue to shaitan ne hafri dal di he said let's just kill the babies right now because there's nothing better that he would want to do than to destroy something at the very foundation of it so it just never leaves the ground and there are many people sitting here or listening online that god had given you a direction khudaawand ne ek direction aapko di ek bojh aapko diya khudaawand ne aapko ek taraf apna ruk diya ke is taraf tu jayega main tujhe kamyabi dunga khudaawand ne business plan shayad diya ایجوکیشن میں بڑھنے کے لیے آپ کو کہا لیکن آپ نے ڈیلے کر دیا یہ ڈیلیڈ ہے بٹ دا بائبل سیز پال وین ہی ریسیو دا ویژن ہی اینڈ ہز کمپینین گاڈ اپ اینڈ دے گاڈ رائٹ ٹو اٹ دس از ناٹ ان مائی نوٹس بٹ وٹ واز انٹرسٹنگ از دیٹ ہی ہیڈ اے رائٹ کمپینین سی اے رائٹ کمپینین There's nothing that takes you out of the course of your vision than the wrong people. Amen. Come on, you don't have to whisper it. You can say it out loud. Amen. Galat bandhon se dekh ke aur bandiyon se bhi. When God gives you direction, when God gives you an inclination, when God gives you a purpose, when God gives you the gifting, when God gives just there's a stirring up in your heart and God is saying, I want you to go after this, my son, because his spirit is dwelling within you. It's moving in you and you got to go. The worst thing you can do is hook up with the wrong people. The wrong people. Not in my notes, but second thing, the vision was God centered. This is one way in which you can know if your vision is just a goal 
or if it's a word from God. God was the center of it. The goal will be centered, if the goal, your goals are always centered around you. I don't know the Urdu words for it. I should have studied more and tried to get the Urdu. What do you understand? Goals and visions are different. It's not coming. Bad me video ki translation pad lijiyega, right? Like you, there's goals and then there's a vision, and they're distinctly different. A vision is what God, it's, it's, it's God driven, God centered, it's what God supernaturally just embeds within you. And a goal is something you can set for yourself based on your abilities, based on your creativity that you have already discovered. And vision will be completely outside of that. It won't make sense, but it is the Lord. In Acts 26, 19, I was not disobedient upon the heavenly visions. And there are many of us sitting here today who have been very disobedient, including myself, to the heavenly visions. vision the people of God spoke over my life. I had an inclination to move towards something, and I just didn't because I was disobedient. Last thing. I think I have it up there. Those aren't moving. Oh, man. You guys went to class and didn't even get your notes. Is it not going to move? All right. The vision will always have a cost. Say it will have a cost. The vision will always have a cost. It's not always profit. Your vision will make you weep. Your vision will make you weep. For Paul, this vision got him into a lot of trouble. Okay, direction hai. That should be enough for God to grant favor, right? The Bible tells us if you read through that passage, chapter 16, it's an amazing chapter, that he went and a slave girl got him into trouble. Him and his companion ended up in the prison. They got into a lot of trouble. And many times when God will give you a vision, it will get you into a big cost that you got to pay. It will get you into some trouble. But it's the vision that is from the Lord. You will have to work hard for it. If God is saying go to school, you'll have to work hard for it. If God is saying start a ministry, you have to work hard for it. If God is saying start a family, you have to work hard for it. If God is saying make your household a godly house, agar khudaavan ye vision de rahe hain, aapko ye inclination, ye direction de rahe hain ki apne khandan ko ek khuda parast khandan banaye, aapko mehnat karni padegi. Usme dukh uthana padega. Agar khudaavan keh rahe hain ki khidmat ke liye is kone you will have to suffer for it. That is how you know that you're going in the direction of God. Acts 16 is one of the most dramatic chapters in the Bible. Go home and read it. It is one of the most dramatic. Things are happening everywhere. People are being saved. Families are being baptized. Cities are getting stirred up. Earthquakes are happening. Prayers are being answered. Jail doors are being broken. People are coming to God. All at the response of one man answering the vision. If you read the verse, there are a lot of in this chapter. And you will hear the whole sermon on every one thing. Jailen khul gayi. Cornelius ka handan bach gaya. Lydia ka handan bach gaya. Earthquake ho gaya. Banjal a gaya. Kya a gaya? Bujal bhi aaya. Dono milke aaya. Right? Like, you know, chains were broken. 
people were being set free miracles were happening itna bada bada kuch ho raha hai ek chapter mein aur har ek incident ke upar aap kalam sun sakte hain revelation pe revelation khudaan ke padri aapko suna sakte hain iske upar lekin agar piche jaye to ek bande ne jo khudaan ki taraf se kalam tha jisko wo pehchan gaya jisko usne apni zindagi ka maqsad bana liya usne uska jawab diya Just think about how many jails are still closed because we haven't answered to our vision. Just think about how many people could have been freed and liberated if we answered to the vision. Just think about how many families could have come and been liberated and delivered and set free had we answered the vision. Are you getting something say amen? No one will bring your vision to pass. अगर खुदावंद ने आपको किसी चीज की डायरेक्शन दी है वो आप ही करेंगे एमैन सारा यू हैव टू हैव योर ओन बेबी वेन गॉड गेव अ वर्ड टू नो वर्ड बिल्ड दी आर्क इट वॉज एन ईजी बट ओनली ही कुड डू इट वेन गॉड गेव नियम आया वर्ड टू रीबिल्ड द वॉल्स इन जरूशलम ओनली ही कुड डू इट वेन गॉड टोड द रब बोल टू बिल्ड द टेम्पल ओनली ही कुड डू इट बट इफ वी फेल टू रिस्पॉन्ड to the vision we're headed toward destruction proverbs 29:18 let's go there one more time as we close where there is no vision the people perish but he that keepeth the law happy is he The whole world wants a happy pill. The whole world wants some medicine they can take so they can be happy. We'll spend millions of dollars to be happy. We will take every kind of substance, we will take medication, we will do this, we will do that because we want to be happy. but if this word of god becomes our direction if this comes within our heart as our vision hamare khandan hamara azwaj hamari kalisia hamara har taraf jahan par bhi hum hain the bible says and he who keepeth the law shall be happy say happy shall be happy clear vision Let's stand to our feet as we pray. I is sab is cheez ke liye dua kare ke khudaan in 2020 give us a clear vision. God give us a clear vision for our life. Khudaan meri zindagi ke liye a clear vision dijiye. God give us a clear vision. for our family mere handan ke liye a clear vision dijiye god give us a clear vision for our future aane wale kal ke liye khudaan a clear vision dijiye give us a clear vision for our church god is kalisia ke liye jiska aapne hame ek hissa banaya hai give us a clear vision Give us a vision for souls. Give us a vision to expand the kingdom. Give us a vision, O oh God. <laughs> If you're receiving this word for yourself today, that you know, I yeah, I I feel like I'm getting all my goals, but I'm still not finding the satisfaction. What's missing is the vision from God. Then just stand to your feet as we're closing in prayer. You can open your mouth and begin to pray to God. You can say God give me a vision. Khudaan aapke kalam se meri zindagi mein ek roya aaye. Khudaan aapki taraf se mere azwaj mein ek roya aaye. Aapki taraf se mere handan mein ek roya aaye. Khudaan aapki taraf se is kalisia mein ek roya aaye. Khudaan aapki taraf se khudaan har cheez jo main karta hu jis direction mein main move hota hu jin logon ke sath main taluk banata hu har cheez 
उसी विजन को पूरे करने के लिए हो खुदा हमें तोफीक दे Give us, my God, the ability to not procrastinate in fulfilling the vision, to move towards it, not delay it any more. To know that you are the center of it and be ready to pay the cost that may come. Oh Lord, would you make our vision clear this 2020? Oh God, इस नए साल में खुदावन हमारी रोया को आप साफ कीजिए. खुदावन वो आपके कलाम के तहत रोया हो हमारे खानदान के जो मूवमेंट है वो आपके कलाम के तहत हो हमारे गोल्स उस विजन के साथ अलाइन हो हमारी जिंदगी के जो मकसद है वो आपकी तरफ से जो रोया है वो बन जाए ताकि हम भी वो खुशी पाए जो आपके कलाम की तरफ से है थैंक यू गॉड दैट यू वॉन्ट एस टू बी अपीपल ऑफ विजन यू वॉन्ट नो वन टू पैरिश Your word says that where there's no vision people perish and it is your heart that no one would perish help us my god to live a life that is vision driven in Jesus name amen i am sab milkar khudaon ki sikhai hui dua mein shamil honge ae hamare baap tu jo aasman par hai tera naam paak mana jaye teri baat chaat aaye teri marzi jaisi aasman par puri hoti hai zameen par bhi ho हमारे रोज क्यूटी आज हमें बख्श दे और जिस तरह हम अपने कर्ज वालों को माफ करते हैं तो भी हमारे कसूर हमें माफ कर हमें आजमाइश में न डाल बल्कि बुराई से बचा क्योंकि बादशाह कुदरत और जलाल हमेशा ही तरह है आमी एंड नाउ द अमेजिंग ग्रेस ऑफ जीसस क्राइस्ट एंड द अनफेलिंग लव ऑफ गॉड आवर फादर एंड द एवर लास्टिंग कम्यूनियन ऑफ द होली स्पिरिट रेस्ट विद ऑल हु गैदर्ड अंडर दिस रूफ to live a life that is full of a vision from you and all the saints of the world now and forevermore amen